In this unit, we will review the names of some of the prominent gods and goddesses of the Egyptian pantheon. In Egyptian mythology, the first five gods were Osiris, Isis, Seth, Nephthys, and Horus. Osiris was a fertility god who became popular because of a story in which he is killed by his brother Seth but is brought back to life by his wife Isis. Isis was the most powerful and popular goddess of the Egyptian pantheon. She is the sister and wife of Osiris and the mother of Horus. She was worshipped as the mother of gods. Seth is the god of war and chaos. His representation as a red beast with a folk tale is later borrowed by Christians to depict the devil. Though he symbolizes destruction, he is seen as a necessary god who maintains the balance of life and death. Nephthys was a protective goddess of the dead and is shown often on coffins. She was the sister and wife of Seth and the mother of Anubis. Horus is an important god of ancient Egypt associated with sun, sky and power. He is depicted with the head of a falcon and the body of a man. Next, we look at the minor gods and goddesses of Egypt. Amenhotep was the son of Hapu, was chiefly a scribe, architect and public official in the court of Amenhotep the Magnificent, the ninth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. After his death, he was deified and worshipped as a god of healing. Amun was originally a minor fertility god, but during the reign of the new kingdom, he was elevated as the king of gods on par with Zeus for Greeks. Other gods were considered manifestations of Amun. Anubis was a protector of the dead and patron of mortuaries. He is depicted with the head of a jackal or dog and the body of a man. He oversaw souls into the afterlife in the hall of the two truths. Astarte is a chief Egyptian goddess who was associated with fertility, sexuality and war. In Jewish mythology, she was depicted as the demon of lust. Baal was a storm god borrowed from the Levant during antiquity. He was worshipped in Egypt during the New Kingdom. Hapi represented the flooding of the Nile. The arrival of Hapi was marked by the annual Nile flood that brought in rich silt for the Egyptians to grow crops. Therefore, he was also worshipped as a god of fertility. Hathor is the most important deity of ancient Egypt. She was the daughter of Ra, the sun god, and the wife of Horus the elder. She symbolized joy, womanhood, and motherhood. The Greeks identified her with Aphrodite. Imhotep was an advisor to King Djoser. He designed and built the steppe pyramid. 2000 years after his death, he was deified and worshipped as a god of wisdom and medicine. Ishtar was a Mesopotamian goddess of love, sexuality and war who was introduced into the Egyptian pantheon in the early dynastic period. Ra is the Egyptian sun god who was among the most important and popular gods of Egypt. As the popularity of god Amun rose with later dynasties, he was merged with Ra to become Amun-Ra, the supreme lord. The ancient Egyptians believed that Ra traveled across the sky in his chariot. Serapis is a god created by Ptolemy the first, the first ruler of the Ptolemy dynasty. He was a blend of two or more Egyptian gods. Thoth is originally a lunar god who is considered as the son of Ra. He is considered to be the god of wisdom, truth and scribes. He is depicted as a baboon or with the head of an ibis and the body of a human. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. For more details, Visit our website leximagic.com